when you spoke for the first time when i heard you in mysore for the first time you were telling your words were coming out of you such words that were very very courageous and against three departments it is uh, puja department veg non veg department and medicine department so how it is possible for a human being to even say those words i was wonderstruck please enlighten on this oh yeah there are three things that you should never do and there are three things that you should do this was my research slowly i came to know about all these three things what to do and three things what not to do what not to do is worshiping an idol or worshiping a person worshiping an idol is something crazy and worshiping an human being is also very crazy okay although i was brought up in a hindu tradition where we go to the temple rama statue is there rama god is there krishna is there shiva is there we do namaskars and come back all that culture i was i had gone through but when i became an adult i found it all meaningless when i further did my research in reading all the books and trying to understand the whole truth by so many great masters and saints it is ridiculous to bow in front of a statue although it is given the explanation is given that they don't see as the they just see as the god himself that's a different thing but not for me not for me to bow down and i won't bow down and i won't allow anybody to bow down if they would like to hear me listen to me so many times we also heard this phrase work is worship that is the right right worship worship is not worship worship is stupidity spiritual science stupidity stupidity from the point of spiritual science it is greatness from the point of religion but it is stupidity from the point of spiritual science what to do i find it stupidity i speak it that way so doing that worship that puja see you pluck a flower here and put the flower there on the statue how dare you pluck the flower here the plant is getting suffer because of you and you are worshiping here you are harming the god here and you are you are trying to please the god here what kind of a god are you when you pluck a flower that fellow is crying the plant is the tree is crying why are you doing it to me if you want to eat something you can eat but you are not eating you are just plucking the flower plucking the leaf and putting it here doing patri puja pushpa puja no the tree the plant doesn't like it how dare you do that if you cut my ear and give it to lord shiva would i like it i won't like it how dare you cut me even my hair also you can't cut my hair is my hair how dare you cut my hair even if cutting my hair doesn't harm me you give me still you, you can't do it only you must take my permission so i am dead against puja there is a first no no it means no you want to do it you do it up to you but it is not sanctified by shastra so whatever is sanctified by shastra and whatever a guru say and whatever is your personal experience these three must coincide whatever shastra says whatever guru says and whatever your experience swanubhava they all tally my swanubhava says that you can't bow down your head to a statue my reading of shastra tells me the same thing aham brahmasmi i am god you are god so who are who is to worship whom and my guru also told, told me the same thing aham brahmasmi tatvamasi 
So all these three things, the, the, what Guru says, what Shastra says, and what my experience, my own personal feeling is, they all tally. So I follow what my heart is. As Richard Bach said, your only obligation in any given lifetime is to be true to yourself. I'm not, I don't want to be true to you, or true to the society, or true to my Hindu religion, my brought up. No, I'm true to myself. The only obligation in any given lifetime is to be true to yourself. So I am true to myself. People listen to me or no, don't listen to me, don't care. People hang me or people do whatever to me, I don't care. I will speak what I want to speak. And the second thing is no meat eating. No killing of animals and birds and fish to eat. Very, very horrible activity of the human being. How dare you do that? If somebody puts you in the water, what happens to you? The same thing happens to the fish when you take the fish out of the water. You want to be happy, but you want to kill others. Very, very, very horrible. Very, very horrible. An ant is going there, you want to kill that ant? If the tiger is coming to kill you, you can kill the tiger. But the ant is not doing anything to you. Why are you putting your leg on the ant? In my childhood, I used to kill the rats in my home. Now I regret. At that time I didn't know. Orders by parents, then I had to do it. I'm very sorry I killed many rats. They were coming for their food, a few grains, and you are killing them. I am such a big puppy. I've done a lot of sins. What to do? Okay, I'll go through the effect of my sins. I killed many rats. Don't tell anybody that I have killed rats. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> huh? We all have. Keep done. it say secret. We all have done unknowingly. What unknowingly? Knowingly you have done it. You have searched for the rats and <laughs> hid them. It was a big adventure. You, are, you, you felt victorious in killing a rat. <laughs> There's a compulsion of the situation. I can never forgive myself for that. That always pinches me even now. Mm. What to do? So, no killing of animals, birds and fish. For your sport or for your... In Spain, the sport is there, you know, the bullfight. You, you, spe you spear the bulls and they die. What kind of game is that? No. In fact, even the bullocks for ploughing, we should not use them. We are giving trouble to them. Tractor is fine, bullock ploughing is wrong. You should never give trouble to any animal, any bird, any fish. Even if when you put aquarium, you are limiting the movement of the fish. You should not have an aquarium for your sport. So, there are many things. For silk, they kill the worms. You want silk eh, to kill all the worms, put them in the boiling, boiling water. Huh? Can't you have a cotton? Sari, why do you want a silk hairy? Sari? You want a silk sari? No. Never. I don't want to kill. So I am dead against killing animals for food. Are you live on a tomato, live on a potato, live on an apple. So many fruits are there. Why are you killing animals? So the first thing is no puja, no worship. Second thing is no meat eating. No killing. And the third is no doctor. 
See, you have got a cancer because of yourself and doctor is going to remove that cancer? No. You have to remove that cancer. You brought it into yourself by your stupid eating, by your stupid waste of energy. When you talk unnecessarily, when you think unnecessarily, you are wasting energy and that bacteria and virus will come and attack you because this body is a food for them. As fruits are food for you, this body is food for them. The tree is happily giving its fruits to you. You also give your body free freely to the bacteria and the virus. Even after they eat, there is enough for you to have your body for you. No pesticides on the farms. No weed sites. I come from the fertilizer background, but I am against all the fertilizers, pesticides and weed sites. When I worked in the fertilizer company, when I recommended fertilizer pesticide, I was doing a lot of papa, sin. I was a great big sinner. But at that time it was earning a bread for me. So, no chemicals in the bodies. No chemicals for the plants, no chemicals for human bodies. You die, yeah, there is no death. Why do you want to live only in this body? When this body goes, there is another body there, astral body is there. Causal body is there. So many bodies are there, beautiful bodies. Why are you worried that you should live only in this body? Hang on to life? No. That is not spirituality at all. If you still see some tragedy in death, you are not spiritual at all. There is no death. In Bhagavad Gita, Vedavyasa says, Hato va prasthis is vargam, jitava va bhokshya se mahim, tasmat uttishta kuntay yudhaya krutanishya. If you die, you go to svarga. If you win, all this is worse. Why are you worried about death? Nahanyate hanyamane sharire, when the body is killed, atma is never killed. So, why are you worried about your death? There is no death. Then why are you worried about the doctors and medicines? You want to preserve your body? No, why? If my body vanishes now, what, what is it for me? Let the cancer come and consume me. If I have done my sins, then I have to pay for the sins. Happily I will pay. So no doctor, no medicine. Some things are there, like eye vision. So it's not a disease. So I get my eye operated. Okay. Or if my, I, I lose my tooth, I have artificial teeth. These are all good. These are not medicines. They are artifacts. Such things are good. It's not a disease. If my teeth are lost, it's not a disease. It's natural. So I can have artificial teeth. Why not use my artificial teeth? I am happily enjoying. If I don't have artificial teeth, all my teeth are art artificial. If I don't have teeth, I can't chew anything. I can't eat anything. I can't enjoy my food. But with my artificial teeth, I can enjoy everything as I was enjoying earlier. All my teeth were going one by one. Doctor assured me, shall I pluck one? I said, no, no, uh, no violence. Let it fall by itself. So every tooth was getting loose and falling. Out of pain was there. I went through all the pains. I never, no violence on my tooth. It should fall by itself. When everything was well, I had my artificial teeth, I am enjoying my life. When I can't see, then they put the glasses, lenses here, so I am seeing. Okay. If you break some bone, you can have a rod here, so what? All those things are there. And for child that is the beautiful modern medicine has given her yeah. many, yeah. many ways. Yeah. Take advantage of it, but for cancer, for liver, no way. Dependent on doctors. You stop your non vegetarian food, everything will be okay here. You do service to others, everything will be okay here. Take care of lesser, less fortunate people. You, 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 other great masters will take care of you. If you take care of your neighbor, higher people, masters will take care of you. You don't take care of others and you want the higher masters to take care of you? No. Put your problems aside and take care of others' problems. Do seva. So for me, three no's. No puja, no worship, no doctor, no medicine, no meat eating. 
my brother, when he came from England in the year 1975, he saw me very lean. He said, oh, you must eat egg because he became an agrarian there. So he said, you eat egg. So he used to give me egg. It was very difficult for me to put the egg in, in my mouth. But after some time, I get, get, developed a taste for it also. I was liking my omelettes. For three years, I didn't. Did take. But at that time, I didn't know meditation. In the year 1970, when I came to know about meditation, I stopped all the egg. I said, it's wrong. My brother put that egg into me. And he started eating all meat. My own brother. So I left my brother. You are a stupid fellow. I don't like you. Anybody who is eating meat is a wrong fellow. I won't even talk to them. Whether my brother or my sister, so what? My sister, eldest sister, was doing wall worship, so I left her. My brother was eating meat, so I left him. You are not a mediator, so I am with you. You are a mediator, therefore I am with you. So, there's three things. No. No puja worship of either an idol or as a, or a, or a p- person. He may be Mahatma Gandhi or Krishna or Bhima or uh, Bhishma. So what? I was learning music. Dr. Sri Pada Finakapani. All other people used to come and touch his, his feet. I never touched his feet. I will never bow down to any person. Although I was learning music from him. So these are the three no's. No for puja worship, no for meat eating and eggs, and no for doctors and medicines, for diseases. Thank you very much for the excellent uh, revelations that you have made today. Great Patriji. Mm-hmm.